Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the basic and important Java entry question. What is variable shadowing in Java? Shading occurs, shading occurs when two variables with different scope share the same name. There are two variables in a different scope, but they share the same name. This, this leads to hard to find bugs and make code very less readable. A local variable shadows an instance variable inside a class method. So this is possible. We can we can shadow a instance variable okay inside a method. Inside a method. If, if it depends on the, the scope. For example I have a variable called calc interest. It's a static variable and inside the local methods I have the same calc interest. So this is called shadowing. So within different scope we have a same name shared. The problem here is there is no compilation error you'll be getting but <coughs> there is a problem. It'll really tough to find out the bugs. If there is any bug it is very hard to find out the bugs. And one more thing is it'll make the code less readable. Okay. So let's debug this how exactly it works. Let's check. Actually, this calcul interest shadows the the main static variable. So this will be the local variable, okay, a thousand. And we are going to another method. There is one more. Uh, here we are trying to access the class variable, okay. This is and one more variable for a different uh, scope. This is a, this is one more variable, and this has a scope within this method. So at different scopes different variables have the same name that's this is called as shadowing in java hope this video is useful thank you and all the best